Hi, my name is Edwin Kirsens, Group Technical Support Manager at Flockmatic. Welcome to this operator guide video for the Flockmatic LCD3500 Long Sheet Vacuum Feeder. This video is designed to help you get the most out of your LCD3500 and to introduce you to some of its features. I will show you how to set up the unit, highlight some advanced features and share some tips and tricks that may be helpful to you. The LCD3500 contains two oversized high-capacity paper trays. The unit is able to feed long sheets up to 700 mm or 27.5 inches long on a variety of stock with weights up to 400 GSM from two vacuum trays. With the optional LSM long sheet module, sheets up to 1260mm or 49.6 inches can be fed with the module. To ensure consistent feeding of the various materials we expect will be used in the LCD3500, Dogmatic has further developed our state-of-the-art vacuum feed technology. Ultrasonic sensors prevent double sheet feeds and the vacuum feeder consistently feeds media ranging from 65 GSM or 16 pound bound all the way up to 400 GSM or 220 pound index. In order to ensure consistent feeding, it is important that you prepare the paper stack prior to loading it into the LCD3500. Sheets that are damaged or are dog-eared should be removed. To avoid double feeds or misfeeds, it is important that you fan the paper stack prior to loading it into the LCD3500. From the main menu, select which tray you intend to open and load. Tray 3 is the upper tray. Leave the paper guide lock release layers and adjust them according to the size of the paper. If the paper stack is wider than 260mm or 10.24 inches, install the paper support at the bottom of the tray. Place the sheets on the elevated tray bottom. Place the leading edge of the sheets against the front of the tray, underneath the vacuum belt. This sliding tab controls the size of the vacuum suction area on the bottom of the vacuum chamber. This needs to be manually shifted to the correct position, which depends on paper width. If paper width is greater than 188mm or 7.4 inches, the lever needs to be positioned as shown. If the paper width is less than 188mm or 7.4 inches, the lever needs to be shifted to the corresponding position. In almost all cases, the LCD3500 should be run in auto mode. Before you can start printing, you need to set up media on the printer. This is done the same way as in all Ricoh production printers. What is unique when feeding sheets from the LCD3500 compared to the standard Ricoh paper trays is that you also must set up media on the LCD user interface. Start by entering the correct media settings to the LCD3500 trays on the user interface. First, press the media icon on the user interface and enter all the media details. It is important that media size and media weight is set correct for the outdoor feed to work correctly. Also note that you need to set if the media is coated or not. For our example today, we are using silk coated 120 GSM S-Ray 3 paper. Second, make sure that the LCD3500 trace is set to Auto by selecting Settings from the main menu or by pressing the large tray summary button. This takes you to the feeder settings page. Make sure the Auto mode button is set to On. Third. If necessary, repeat the procedure to set up the lower tray. The LCD3500 can be set up to feed black media. Note that this means actual black paper and not a white paper with 100% dark toner coverage, so it appears to be mostly black. This setting shall only be used when the paper itself is black. To set the LCD3500 up to feed black media, first press Advanced button from the Settings screen. From the Advanced screen, set the switches to 1 if the tray is loaded with black media. As stated earlier, for most applications, the LCD3500 can be run in Auto mode. 
we recommend you start by trying to run your application in auto mode with the correct curl parameter entered. If there is curl on the media and the application allows it, it's always better to load the LCD with the curl in lead edge pointing down. Before switching over to manual mode, we recommend that you first start with this simple trick. First, if you get many misfeed error messages, LCD 100, 200, misfeed repeatedly, keep the LCD in auto mode, but select the next paperweight up from the media screen. This will adjust all feed parameters to better handle heavier media, and some paper types need this to run well. So if you have loaded the LCD with an 120 GSM media and run on paperweight 3, and you get many misfeeds, then select paperweight 4 and try again. Second, if you instead are getting many double feeds, this can be the following error codes. LCD 101, LCD 201, jam and tray, LCD 102, LCD 202, too long, LCD 104, LCD 204, too thick. Then keep the LCD in auto mode but select the next paperweight down from the media screen. So, if you have loaded the LCD with an 120 GSM media and run on paperweight 3 and you get many double feeds, then select paperweight 2 instead and try again. Please note that this adjustment is only done on the LCD user interface. The paper is still set up to match the media on the printer user interface. Changing on the printer may affect print quality. Changing on the LCD user interface will not affect print quality. The test setting button is used to check the feeder settings in the trays. Press the button once to activate all the fans and move the elevator to process position. Press this button twice to switch off the fans and to move the elevator down. If auto mode still provides unsatisfactory results even after trying this little trick, then feeder settings may be adjusted in manual mode. To determine which settings to change, first, Plugmatic has created troubleshooting procedures and guidelines which can be found in section 6 of your operator manual, page 63, but that depends on translation. It is important that you follow these directions when setting up the LCD 3400 up in manual mode. When the message MISS is displayed, the LCD3500 was not able to feed a sheet from the indicated tray. Please refer to the MISS error procedure in section 6 of the operator manual. We will walk you through this particular procedure as an example. First, check if the paper has cross-process direction curl. In our particular example today, it is not. So, next step is to decrease process position by 2 and check if sheets are floating correctly. After each change, it is useful to use the test settings button to check your new manual settings. Enter the tools menu and press the test settings button, which will activate all the fans and move the elevator to process position. Press the button again to turn off test mode. If the LCD 3500 is set correctly, the sheets will be floating horizontally with equal amount of separation between sheets. For 80 GSM paper, approximately 15 to 20 sheets shall be floating. For 150 GSM paper, approximately 12 to 16 sheets shall be floating. For 300 GSM, approximately 6 to 10 sheets shall be floating. When the error message is jam, too long or too thick, this indicates the LCD 3500 has detected either a jam or a double sheet feed from one of the trays. Follow the procedure shown here in your operator manual to correct this error. In summary, the Plotmatic LCD 3500 adds new capabilities and helps you deliver more creative applications than ever before. Your investment in the LCD 3500 will significantly enhance your RICO printing system and set you apart from your competitors. For more information, contact your local RICO representative or visit us at plotmaticgroup.com.